was one of the most exciting things I think the Tel Aviv uh, scene has ever seen. You know, everyone says it's the city that never sleeps. It's the hedonistic city. And tonight we walk down the main street of Ben Yehuda with the Sefer Torah, a Sefer Torah that people all over the world donated money towards. A Sefer Torah that was written in honor of the 72 soldiers who gave the ultimate sacrifice in Suketan so that we can stand here right now, here in Tel Aviv, and celebrate this Torah together as a community. Um, and just, I'm so excited. I'm sure you can see it in my face. I mean, we had hundreds of people dancing with the Torah in the middle of Tel Aviv. We literally stopped traffic. Tell us about this uh, synagogue here. You didn't choose one of these, I don't know, giant modern synagogues. It's a very Hamish, we call it. We're old school, okay? Let's call it vintage. Um, this is what we call the North Central Synagogue here in Tel Aviv. And basically what happened about 10 years ago, this synagogue, as you can see, is not the fanciest synagogue, as you pointed out, but it had a lot of space. And we saw nothing but possibility in those empty seats. And what's so amazing is if you come here on Shabbat morning, you will see 300 young people from all over the world, truly kibbutz galiot, here davening, here for Kiddush. In fact, we have to find another synagogue. <laughs> We've outgrown this one. trying to bring a really Western concept of pluralism and togetherness. I think one of the things that young Olim are bringing to this country is a love of Yadut, a love of Judaism, and a lot of Yiddishkeit that transcends some of the differences we see in Israeli society. We're not secular, we're not religious, we're not conservative, we're not reform, we're not liberal, we're Jews. Here you will find Jews praying. There's a place for everyone here, and what we think that means, when we really talk about pluralism, that means that you need to go to the highest level of halakha to make sure that everyone is com is comfortable. There must be a mechitza. There must be mahadrin kashrut. But that doesn't mean that someone who's secular can't come in. This is a door that's open to everybody. Jewish and not Jewish, by the way. It's really interesting. We have a lot of people visiting the White City from around the world, and this is a great opportunity for us to show them what it means to be a Jew and to be a part of a community. Oh, 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 yeah.